Gita, log everything is the key to a data-driven culture. You can't be afraid to log everything because if you are, you will automatically not find a lot of things in the data. And you told me before that you guys can log everything at a tenth of the infrastructure requirement compared to uh, your competition. How can you how can you do that? Yeah, so a lot of this has to do with how the product was built and how we actually store and manage data. And so we found that a lot of the expense of running these solutions was how do we effectively manage and store data very, very efficiently. So it's been a, quite a bit of an obsession for our team to be able to do this really well. And, um, and that also is the cost savings that comes for our customers, but also makes it much more efficient for us to run our own Cumio infrastructure. So we're, we're really always trying to be better at, at make this make this cheaper, easier, faster to run. <laughs> it's right. it's, it's right. in our DNA. <laughs> right. And the index free thing is one part of it. But there's another interesting part of it where you predict uh, what the query will be based on the query context, right? Where uh, you can wake up archives basically based on the query context and really look only in a specific place instead of having to look everywhere. So that's yeah. that's another fascinating part. So we do quite a bit on having really, really uh, effective search and filtering uh, mechanisms built in. So we have like not only done streaming and index free, but when you're actually trying to hone in onto the specific, let's say, data that you're looking for, time and the the you know there's certain filters that you can put in that suddenly we've got a much smaller set of data that we're searching so you know putting a lot of these elements together is what's creating the incredibly fast search yeah that intelligence is what it's really all about because when you look at like a heat map of of people's searches. I don't know if that exists. Maybe you're using that, right? A heat map of, of searches of, of users. And you see, huh, there is data, you know, like three-year-old log data from uh, from Zoom is, is never accessed, but two-and-a-half-year-old data is accessed in a specific context that I'm seeing this user type, so things like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, so some of this is, you know, many times you just think, oh, this data is not useful. We'll just sort of put it over there. But, you know, interesting enough when it potentially is useful when you've had a certain incident or an issue and you want to go back and historically look at this data, it's incredibly powerful to have it for contextual purposes, right? And or compliance, if that's the case, like, oh, ow. I'm getting hit by compliance issues. I need to go back in time. And and then it's available as well to be able to search again, narrow into what you're looking for. Yeah, and that is really what saves cost because you can leave uh, the bulk of the data on a lower storage tier and only really wake yeah. up the data that's, that's accessed a lot. Thank you, Gita. Thank you.